All right, everybody. Hey, this is Cisco, a.k.a. Mr. Fantastic from the Gamers Digest podcast. And today we're going to play Lara Croft Tomb Raider Legend. I was never very fond of this intro. It seemed too cartoony, I guess. I wonder if those are real. Are, are those natural? Tomb Raider Legend. Alright. So here we begin. Uh, we're going to start a new game and play it on medium difficulty, I guess. And, uh, oh yes, this game has loading screens, and, uh, it takes a while for everything to load. But, uh, yeah. Pretty soon an intro movie will start. And here we go. That's, I should mention that it's kind of funny that this game is actually the first reboot for Tomb Raider. Um... Back in 2006, I believe, Doesn't mean they're not real. redid uh, Laura's true, origin story, and here she is with her mom, flying over the Alps for fierce. no reason. They probably don't like being so cold all the time. I here they are talking about either. Yetis. You never have to be cold, my Lara, if you don't want and to. it's not really a spoiler, but I thought that you know they were like no. foreshadowing Henry, with the Laura, the young Laura talking about Yetis. And not a single Yeti showed up in this game later on in the game when you actually get to the Alps. So I was like, I was actually pretty disappointed that they didn't have Yetis in this. Not unless it's absolutely so. Necessary. So. so here they are, flying over the Alps. Laura's a bitch. She's badass like that. She's a badass bitch. Even as a young child. So, here we are, climbing. What would give you that idea? Hmm. Reminds me of Uncharted. Wait, no. Uncharted reminds me of Tomb Raider. <laughs> okay. Eventually we'll start playing. This, uh... Yeah, I was, I was really pleased with, uh... Tomb Raider Legend. It was... It was a breath, breath of fresh air in the series, especially after uh, Alistair, the bomb that was uh, Angel of Darkness. I only played like a little bit of it, and it was it was pretty bad. So, this is Tomb Raider Legend. Graphics are really good, especially for the time. And uh, I played through this game a ton of times. Like I said, it was my first Xbox 360 game. I beat it multiple times, so I should be able to burn through this let's play pretty quickly. But yeah, you can swim, go underwater. Yeah. Hey, do me a favor and check your PDA. Hmm. Yeah, you do you can't use a PDA, it's kinda like your uh, menu screen, but I probably won't use it at all, it's not that important. <laughs> Push boulders, jump. Pretty easy. Game's pretty straightforward. It. What I liked about this game was that it was a lot. It was a lot more uh, streamlined in, in comparison to the uh, other. 
to the older Tomb Raider games. The the other the older Tomb Raider games were a lot they're a lot more slower, in like in terms of just like progression further you know progressing through the levels. They did take some things out like in the older Tomb Raider games you'd have to like find keys and stuff in order to open doors and stuff like that and they I mean they get they did get rid of those but it was for the better. The older Tomb Raider games just they're a lot more slower paced. And get the boulder. Really straightforward. And these annoying guys that are in your headset. The, I think they die in the other game. I don't know. So. I'm here, but I don't see no climber. Yeah, well, I can't shoot on sight if I can't see nobody. This guy talking I about. I thinking I'd put someone down today. Now there's nothing. He owes me one. So yeah, Laura's gonna kill him. You know it. Or I am. Oh, that's one thing they added. You can, uh, like, do, like, an adrenaline mode or something where you can jump off them and be able to take more shots. I will say these, the, the, the new, well, the, the first Tomb Raider reboot with Legend really borrowed a lot from the Tomb Raider movies with Angelina Jolie. And, uh, you can take that for what it's worth. Yeah, throughout it, the levels there are these little relics and items that are scattered throughout. I'm not too concerned with getting them. I'm just trying to beat the game. Oh, the grappling hook that they gave you, the magnetic grapple. That comes in handy. I think that was a neat little addition they made. The conversations of these bad guys are pretty funny. But, uh, I have to say that in to out of the Tomb Raider, in the Tomb Raider franchise, the weakest element was probably the combat. You know, you can you can unlock some cool guns and stuff in the older games, but I think the combat was the what suffered the most, especially because the game was so centered around exploration and climbing and jumping and all the, the 3d platforming that you know the combat took a back seat and if you look at some of the stuff for the newer tomb raider that's coming out next year in march early march it looks like uh some of the, the combat stuff they uh really improved upon it which is which is awesome I say the only thing really I mean this this game is pretty easy um you just gotta be careful not to rush things because you can die I remember Tomb Raider's death scenes were pretty funny back in the past you say that's all the ruins I'm a terribly lucky girl hmm and here come the bloody tourists to spoil you. Your gear doesn't pick up detail that small. Okay. What do you see? Men with guns. Mercenaries by the look of them. Mercenaries. Getting into trouble. Now they're gonna get smashed by some rocks. Reminds me of Oblivion. In Skyrim. All right. Pretty straightforward. Jumping around, shooting. I remember that was one of the things I liked a lot about the old Tomb Raider: flipping around and shooting things, dual wielding like just almost every gun. They need to bring back the Uzis. Swing. 
I will tell you, and I'll tell you guys right now that, you know, as with as far as Team Raider Legend goes, and me doing the Let's Play for it, it'll be pretty, pretty straightforward, really quick. Um, because I know what I'm doing. I've played Tomb Raider Underworld. I beat it. I've beaten it once. I've beaten this game like five times, five or six times. Yeah, I did the time trial modes, you know, speed runs and stuff like that. You know, I know how to play this game, what I need to do. But, um, Tomb Raider Underworld, I only played it once, so that one might take a while for me to get a hang up. And I've never played Tomb Raider Anniversary, so that'll be, that'll be an experiment for us. So they all died. Amateurs. She's so British. So, got a checkpoint here. See the shiny thing up top? That means I can throw my grappling hook. Because the floor is going to open up in front of me. Yeah, I can't have that. I know what I'm doing. Can't rush it. It's a useful survival skill. So another thing they added for this game was climbing up ropes and stuff. What's all this stuff for? Moving heavy materials deeper into the mountain, probably. Sometimes ancient builders. The main thing I don't like about this game is jumping from like the rope to rope or pole to pole. Not a big fan of it. The controls kind of suck just because of the camera angle. So uh, go through here. Wait, no, don't don't climb. I really like the water effects and going underwater. A huge improvement over the original game. Huge. This is also the first time I've ever played this game in HD. Um, oh, I forgot about this guy. I remember the very first time I played this, that uh, Jaguar scared the crap out of me. Never, you don't expect a jaguar to be in the middle of a temple, just chilling. Yeah, let me try this again. <laughs> All right. One thing I did hate about this game was pushing these blocks. Just the controls, they inverted on you, and it just sucks so bad. Steering this thing is a pain in the butt. Think they did improve. The uh, mechanics for the the follow-up game, uh, Tomb Raider Underworld. That's a lot. The controls a lot better for pushing boxes and stuff. But as I was saying earlier, this was this is the first time I've played this game in HD because when I first got the game, you know, I didn't have an HD TV yet, so I was just using the standard analog uh, inputs for the game. So yeah, this is the first time I've ever played in HD, so it looks pretty awesome. Looks like you're going bowling. Yes. The patient sends so. assistance. I remember the first time I ever saw this room, I was like really super confused on how to get through here, and I'll show you how to do it. Yeah, you can pull out your binoculars and use the RAD mode, and I forget what RAD stands for. But yeah. You need the, there's these three little sensors or whatever. You gotta put blocks on them. And this little thing right here is like a catapult. And we'll just jump on here on the other end. Throw it up there. Oh, Jaguar, just chilling out here. You know, this. Yeah, there weren't as many animals in this game 
as the other Tomb Raiders. Which was kind of disappointing. And whenever there was an animal in the game, it just it just seemed so out of place. Like these jaguars chilling out in the middle of like sealed dungeon rooms it just made no sense. Like I can understand fighting the tigers and stuff from the original Tomb Raider and Tomb Raider 2 on the jungle and stuff, but ah, yeah. oh, whatever. So now we have the crates where we need them to be. Now we're just going to put them on the little uh, weight sensor thingies. Now I'm going to pull this one because it's a lot easier to pull the uh, crates than push them because of how the control inverts. That's how you finish this puzzle room. The very first time I played this game, I was stuck on this room for at least like half a day. I didn't know what to do. I was like trying to climb up here. I was like, what do I gotta do over here? I was like super confused. Do I gotta climb up here? Do I gotta jump over here? I was, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. And I'm just wasting your guys' time. My bad. But yeah, you're supposed to go to this other side. Because I got a little pole that you can swing on. And all that jazz. Oh. Yeah. As much as I love Uncharted, you know, Tomb Raider... Uncharted wouldn't be what it, it, it is without Tomb Raider. Uncharted 2 is still, I still, I still, by this, by this day, I say that Uncharted 2 is one of the best gameplay experiences I ever had in a single player game. It was that good. But, uh, I have a feeling that the new Tomb Raider might surpass it. I'm, I don't want to hype it up too much, but, yeah. As much as I love the, the presentation of Uncharted 2, and just, like, the, the situations you're put in, the, the writing, you know, I really loved Uncharted 2, but it looks like uh, Tomb Raider's just taking what that was and breathing, yes. stepping it up a notch. And I, and I was disappointed with uh, Uncharted 3. It just, something was missing from that game. You know, not a fan. I hear a Jaguar. Just flip away from it, shoot it. <laughs> Poor thing. It was just hungry. One thing that I did find annoying about this game was how how was um uh, what am I saying? Oh yeah, the flashlight. The flashlight is like constantly like wait, burning battery and you know you always got to turn it off and then turn it back on because it recharges like in an instant. It's 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 in, it was annoying. And on some cutscenes you can't see things if you don't have your flashlight turned on. So they fixed that in the Tomb Raider Underworld. The flashlight doesn't have a battery. You can leave it on. Like even in cutscenes in this game, if you have your flashlight on, it might turn it might turn off in the middle of the cutscene because the battery's running out. Here we are pretty much at the end of this level. So What have we here? Oh, she's having a flashback. So Laura and her mom survived the plane crash and decided to, I don't know, 
raid this tomb. And yeah, they're they're unscathed. Lara, have you found anything for the fire? And they want to build a fire. I've got a sword and a stone right here. This is weird. Pay attention to all this, guys. So, Laura's mom pulls out the pulls out the sword and she disappears. This is Laura's new origin. She's been retconned so many times. Now she's just checking out a book and she leaves her Yeti drawing here and whatever. <laughs> no Yetis in this game. This guy right here is a huge douche. Lara Croft. I've been hoping I'd get to meet you. At ease. We're just gonna talk. Okay. I'm listening. Have you found a piece of this? Oh, looks familiar. Is this what led you here? Where did you find that? It doesn't matter. What's important is what it does. Do you know? What I know is my business. So you don't then. And that means you don't Clever. have peace. Amanda said you were sloppy. You should have paid more attention to Paraiso. Amanda? Amanda's dead. What the hell do you know she? about Paraiso? We're done talking. Douchebag. There's some crazy physics, so he blew up. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't get how this thing is still here. Whatever. Totally shot the bridge up, and it's still standing. Whatever. That's Tomb Raider. So just go through here, blast some bad guys, jump over them, flip her over them, shoot them in the head. Really simple. This is like the final, the final fight in the game is just like this. It's in the same place, actually. Spoiler. Did. So they left. There is more than one. Father, you were right. What was that? Keep yourselves caffeinated, lads. We've some work ahead of us. These were still alive. Can't complain about that. Very cool. So, this was the first mission in Tomb Raider Legend, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this Let's Play, and we'll continue on to the next one. Thanks for watching. Until next time, guys.